Hello everyone, Lego King KD110 here, and today I've got the Kessel Mime Market Poly Bag. You can get this at Barnes and Noble when you spend thirty dollars or more on a Lego purchase. So let's see what we've got. Bag of parts, instruction booklet, little paper backdrop, and a sticker sheet with his name. So let's go with this and let's get it opened up. So, the main attraction to the set is, of course, the Kessel Mime Worker, which we will be looking at more closely later. But what I love about these little stand sets is how they just connect with all the other ones. All of them have roughly the same build, made out of roughly the same parts, and it's roughly the same all together. There's only a few differences, um, like what color the pins are. Those changed from black to gray, and what color your base is made out of sometimes changes. Um, I also like the way they do the backdrop cards. Um, I have the two. I have the two other ones they've made so far, and I'm hoping to pick up the Han Solo one that's out right now soon. Oh, and here's a tip. Um, if you have spare parts, you can just stick them inside here. So that you don't have to keep them outside where they're ugly. So I'll just stick my pin on this side. And then yes, the nameplate is printed on with a sticker. There's nothing you can really do about that. They're not going to make a new print for a 1x4 plate every time they make one of these. That would start to get expensive. Um, but, yeah... Sorry, it's taken me a little while to build this one. Ugh, okay. So, on the back, let's stick on these little red things. Which, you can make these out of your own parts. And you can make your own little cardboard backdrops. So, then you just put your cardboard backdrop on, and you stick in your little round pieces on the back. And then you get your build, and you can put your Kessel Mine worker on it. And by the way, this guy looks awesome. All of the parts are exclusive. Uh, the gun isn't exclusive. It's still very rare. And just the... If you look on the torso and the leg, just the small dirt printing all around. If you take a look at the back, the printing continues on, on the head and on the back of the torso. Keeping with, like, the same dirty yellowish tan vibe you get from the entire thing. Um... Soon, I will do a video with all of these put together. Side note, they move the copyright label down here where it's not seen when it's on the stand. So that's good. Used to run up the side in big white letters. But anyway, if you look on the cardboard backdrop, you can see it's a little computer console where little droid starts the uprising. But anyway, I'll be making a video with all of the ones I have put together soon. But anyway, this has been Lego King KD110 here, and I'm out. Bye.